you're watching free content from Digital Tutors, the world's largest CG training library. Enjoy the tutorial and visit digitaltutors.com to find thousands of videos streaming in HD. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to speed up our workflows by using the proxy mode, as well as how we can write and read in proxy files, and finally, how we can use the proxy mode, kind of unintentionally, to actually increase the size of our composition render without having to go in and change any of our nodes. So I've just opened up the 02 underscore begin. Now this project initially was created as a print file, so the size of this image was approximately 3K or, 250, or 2550 by around 3500 pixels. So obviously it was a little bit slow to work with. So just to see this, I've actually scaled this down quite a lot as you can see here. But let's go to the bottom and look at this right node. And I'm just going to come in and go to something like 2x zoom instead of 5. Let's come in here. And I'm just going to clear my buffers so we can see how long it actually takes to re-render this. And we can see that uh, we haven't even gotten a single scan line started because we have a lot of very expensive nodes inside of our script here. And what it's doing is it's trying to catch up and render all this out, but we're using so much image generation or so many resources, Nuke is unable to render this at a nice rate. So to get around this while we were creating this project, I made heavy use of the pro or the proxy mode. And that is up here. And we can toggle this on and off either in our viewer or we can hit control P to turn on and off our proxy. Now what this does is it actually goes in and it scales down our images or takes our image information and halves them uh, depending on our settings. So we can see that after doing this change and we can clear buffers again, we can see that this renders out much, much faster because it's essentially having to deal with a fourth of the information, which obviously speeds things up four times faster. Now the downside of proxy mode is of course we do not have the usual resolution that we're working with. If we zoom in and take a look, and if we turn proxy on and off, we can see that proxy mode is of course much more pixelated at fine detail. So if you have to go in and you have to edit fine detail like a key uh, or a very fine highlight, then proxy mode is probably not going to work the best for that. But for 90% of our compositing, when we're worrying about the big picture, turning on proxy mode can be an incredibly time-saving resource. So now let's take a look at where the proxy size is set up. So if we hit the S key uh, to bring up our project settings, we can see we have our full-sized format and then our proxy mode. And I have mine set on scale. However, if you have an explicit size or an explicit format that you would like to set on your proxy, we can change this to format and, of course, change the proxy format. Now we have to be careful because if the proxy format is larger than our regular format, it will scale that up and we will be working with much more information. You can see here if my proxy format is set at 2K or a square 2K, then it's going to try and resize everything and process that much information. So for proxy mode to work, we have to make sure that the format is actually smaller than what we're creating it at. And a great way to do that is, of course, to set the proxy mode to scale and then set which scale you want to use. Now, we also have the option of creating and reading in proxy files. And I've actually already created and read in a proxy file in this project. So we can see here at the bottom we have read proxy files if larger. Now, we can actually write or read proxy files. So let's come up here to the top or near the top corner where we have our proxy template or our, our proxy temporary mat. And we can see here that we're actually loading in our temporary EXR, but we also have a proxy read node and also the proxy format. And this is actually what's being read in whenever we turn proxy mode on. Now this is incredibly useful if you do not want Nuke to be doing all of these scaling operations internally every time we refresh the image. And depending on your image size, if you're working with a 4K plate, you probably don't want Nuke to do the 4K to 2K conversion every single time you make an update. So for those cases, we can use the write node and write out a proxy file. 
let's just give this a second to load back up here. I'm going to turn back on my proxy mode. As you can see, it's a pretty heavy composition. It doesn't even want to load up without proxy turned on. So every write node has a normal file and a proxy write. So we can actually write out proxy files to then load in with our readers or, of course, load in with this write node. Now, if you try rendering with proxy turned on and we have not set this proxy file up, Nuke's going to give us an error. So I just selected my final render node, hit F7, and if we click OK, you know, Nuke's going to tell us we need a proxy file name to write to. So if you're using proxies but you do not want to write them out, it's completely fine. Just before you hit the render button, toggle off your proxy mode and what the heck, let's pause our viewer so it doesn't try to update and then we can hit F7 and begin rendering this out. So working with proxy mode is an incredibly powerful way to speed up everyday tasks we do here in Nuke. And I use it quite often, uh, no matter what com composition I'm in, because, again, it just gives us such a speed increase, it's very useful for blocking everything out. Now, of course, if you have sub-pixel, or if you have specific information on a pixel, it could get lost with proxy mode, so the proxy that we see is not going to be exactly the same as the final render. But it's going to be close enough that we can make most of our editing decisions and our creative decisions inside of proxy mode and then simply turn it off if we need to check a fine detail. Now finally, let's talk about how we can actually use proxy mode to render out an image larger than we have currently in our scene. And this is useful if you're trying to up-res it for uh, either a larger plate that might have come in or, of course, print usually needs incredibly large resolutions. And as we said before, this started as a larger project, but we actually came in and resized it smaller. And resizing things at the base image level actually causes a lot of problems because roto paint nodes, roto nodes, uh, and other nodes that have XY position information and center point information do not update on an image import. So what we need to do, or what we did in this scene, is we are using a lot of reformats around our rotos. So we can see here that every roto paint is plugged into a reformat node because, again, if we resize the scene, all of our roto is going to be offset incorrectly. Now we can actually do this at the end of our pipeline very easily with this proxy format. So let's say we want to render this out twice as large as our current frame format. So let's hit the S key and go to scale here. And we can, let's see if we can actually turn this on. So we can actually proxy scale this up. Or if we have a very, or if we have a specific uh, size we want to get to, we can of course come in and create a new format size. So let's call this our uh, 1.5 larger creature. And let's say we want this to be 1.5 times larger. So let's multiply by 1.5 in both the width and the height. And this will be our new format. So let's click OK. And that will be our new proxy format. So let's turn back on our proxy, turn on our format. I'm just going to pause my viewer so it stops trying to update. And change the proxy format to this new larger size. And now to render this out, we'll need to, of course, set a proxy destination. So let's load this in. And I'm just going to jump over to my project files. And inside my footage folder, I'm just going to create a new image here called Creature 1.5 Proxy. Click Save. All right, so now, and let's make this a .exr file format so that we actually can render this out. And let's just hit render on this. So I'm going to click the render button, just render out the first frame. Uh, as you can see, it's going to take quite a little while to render out. But at the end of this, we should have a scene or an image that is 1.5 times larger than our original image. Now, of course, scaling up is going to scale up every single operation we have to do here. So it is going to slow down our render time. But, of course, if we need to scale this up, using the proxy system to do this is a very fast and painless way. So in this lesson, we took a look at how we can use the proxy mode to speed up our own workflows, as well as do a few interesting things like render out larger than our scene size.